I'm going to show you how to draw a diagram of a sea breeze. This is to answer the question, I agree or disagree that differences in temperatures of land and ocean cause changes in wind direction. During the daytime, breezes at the ocean come from the sea. I'm drawing a picture of the sun and you will do the same. You're going to draw a picture of the water and label it ocean. You're going to draw a picture of the land nearby and label it land. Now, in the daytime, the ocean maintains its temperature and stays approximately the same temperature it was at night. So during the daytime, you're going to have um, cooler temperatures over the ocean. And when you have cooler temperatures, that means that molecules in the air are going to get close together and they're going to sink. You're going to draw your molecules really tightly packed together to represent the matter squishing together. Okay, over the land, the land is going to heat up really quickly in the daytime. So what's going to happen is the molecules of air over the land are going to rise and they're going to spread apart. When you have molecules of air that spread apart and rise, what kind of pressure is that? If you guessed low pressure, then you are correct. You're going to grab a marker or a colored pencil and you're going to make a red L. I don't have a red L with me right now. And over here on the ocean where you have squished molecules because it's colder, you're going to have a blue H. Now, all of the molecules that are squished together they're going to be dying to get away from each other. Remember that the molecules are not alive, but they do pretend that they are for a minute. All of the squished high pressure molecules of air are going to rush into the land. And you're going to have a breeze that comes from the sea during the daytime, sea breeze.